welcome to the coffee hour. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I, know. Uh, I know. This is, um, we're trying to segment uh, the video a little bit. Um, but at the same time, I'm not sure if, if it really matters, but this is both for our own benefit every morning to just wake up. Mm-hmm. Um, Definitely need coffee. So. Yeah, there's going to be people saying coffee kills you. There's always someone saying something about something. Oh, How'd you like? I thought you were gonna measure it. I am. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow! Look at you. How'd you like it yesterday? I loved it. Okay. Do you do deduction? Yeah, yeah. Uh, just, so I just keep it on and then it's wow. yeah. Mental math, dude. I hate it. So. Are you Asian? No. <laughs> <laughs> you're the you're the one who's an investment banker, dude. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah uh, our car got a ticket this morning. Oh no! Yeah. Wait, was, wait, was, where'd you? It was so annoying. It was so you couldn't park because I'm dug with. No, no, no! It's not really that. It was um, it was Zoe, and I, I don't, I don't blame her. Sounds uh, like you're blaming. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm <laughs> I don't not, blame her, but not, it's her fault. <laughs> I'm not blaming her, but she parked it on the uh, on the sidewalk, not in parallel with the sidewalk, but on the sidewalk. Uh huh. Because the garage is just a little bit small. Right. So you so can't really. So, so, you got you got to really watch it to right. be able to pull in and right. not just grab the car on the right. side. So um, yeah, she just parked there. What annoys me the most was I got out of the building and yeah. to go to the bar station right. at seven, right. and then I saw the ticket. Right. And the ticket was punched at six feet before. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> that's so annoying. Yeah. Like, and um, anyways, I missed that train, and then I you know. She drove me over. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. Yeah, that's... Hate yeah. to see it. Just five minutes. Just five minutes. We got, we got two tickets in a row, front license plate, for not having it. Are you kidding me? I know. We got, so we got, so she got one when she, Where? she went to Pilates, and then we're like, ah, whatever. Like, we, we didn't fix it, because it looks ugly, and we're like... It does? Yeah, so we're like, okay, like, whatever. And then we got it again <laughs> on Monday, this Monday. And then, so we put it on. And we need to go find a ticket person. So we need to show them first so they can, they'll, they'll correct it and give you the ticket back. Wow. So, really dumb. Well, 108? Hmm? Ticket price, 108? 121. What? Yep. $242 for not having a freaking license. But what, okay, but. I think it's not mandatory. It is. It is? On the front? It is. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Really? Yeah, 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 it is. It's really annoying. No, I'm pretty sure I looked it up. It wasn't. I think I looked it up too. And it is. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck. It's specific. It? It's state specific. And it's almost like county specific. Ah. Uh. Oh, that was tiring. Yeah. <laughs> Next time I'll do it. No, uh, let the man with with actual muscle to do it. Oh right. Yeah. Right, right. Uh, the uh How much you bench? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you watched Sam Sugar. Yeah. The um uh when I the first time I got that better, right? Yeah, oh yeah, my god, it was so much better. The the last time I got it was um in UCLA. Oh yeah. Yeah, in UCLA and um when I was doing a doing a little conference there. And I was parking on the, wait, the one side? The triple side? The triple side, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, um, the all-in one. Um, right. That, that was on the UCLA campus. And then He's I was such parking. such a classic uh, tech guy, you know. Banker, also loves technology. He's going to do the board, Yeah, right? I'll do um, And then the, I was parking on their student, um, what's right. it called? Uh, parking garage on mm-hmm. campus. Yeah. And then they gave me a warning uh, for not having a front license plate. Interesting. And I was like, yeah, screw this campus. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a Bruin, you're a lame. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. Um, I love the UC system. The, uh, and then I never, I really thought you don't have to have it. Like I think you do in California. Okay, um, okay. De- definitely in SF County is, okay. is my understanding, but okay. could be wrong. But we it's also, ugly though. We also live in yeah. We live in a pretty anal 
State. How? How? Yeah. What? What is the area that you guys parked at? Pilates was in Mission Bay, so near the baseball stadium, and then Jesus. And then the other one was in Bar or Pier Thirty Nine, so another hot. Maybe that's why I don't know. They're kind of like hot tourist spot. destination. Yeah, Pier Thirty Nine is big, and then. Wow, can you place it at the front? I see people place it inside of the car. Like that, at the I've front. seen people do that, but I don't know if that. I'm pretty sure from when I looked it up, it said it has to be like. Because it needs to be visible for a police officer, you know, to do a quick scan. The whole point is visibility for them. And if you don't, you're yeah, making it difficult. So weird. Yeah, I don't know. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah, anyways. I guess I'll put it on, too. Yeah. Uh, it's That's pretty easy, though. I mean, they have all the... They give you everything. But yeah. But it's just annoying. Yeah. I it's know. ugly. It is ugly. It's ugly. Yeah. I try not to think about it. I think I think to give people some context, people, so that people don't think that you're driving a normal car and you're thinking that front license plate is not driving, good. Oh, that's, yeah. that's true. Yeah, we we both drive Teslas because we're both uh, basic SF people, and, <laughs> and be like, "Oh, you're a Tesla driver." <laughs> Typical. A cousin of mine sent me a screenshot mm -hmm. um, yesterday. I was so excited to see the first Cybertruck in um, uh, in uh, Qingdao, China. Oh, they have one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Yeah. Because there's a factory in Shanghai, so I, right. I think they make it. Right. No, cyber drugs are cool. Uh, I've seen I've seen quite a few now. Yeah, right. The yeah. yeah, they're, they're all over the place. Yeah. Right. Would you buy one? Well, okay. Big Wrong question. Would you pick that over the normal truck? Yes, having driven a Tesla okay. for so long. Okay. If you're factoring in price, I'm not sure. Okay. And I, I, I still think the range is probably not. Well, I think regular trucks also don't have crazy range, right? They, they can't yeah. be more than 350, 400 miles. No, yeah. I, mean, I, I think, know they have big tanks, but they're I not. I think they're like yeah. easily 15 to 20. Right. Uh, right. On the, uh, you know. Right. So. Yeah, I mean, I think it's. I personally think it's a no brainer. Okay. Plus, it's. It's cheaper, and mm -hmm. I believe you can, especially if you're like a labor and you're yeah. like, the write offs per mile mm -hmm. are pretty favorable, is okay. my understanding, for EV. Okay. Because you're not obviously like, roughly it's half the price of a gas fill up, yeah. roughly, for a charge. So, but I think you still get the same deduction mm -hmm. as a traditional mile yeah. if you just do a mile deduction of like 60 cents. Yeah. You end up saving a lot there so but then you have to know how to do all the and like you have to track everything too you have to like get a special app or yeah so i guess that's annoying it gets tricky i think yeah. it does get tricky but, but you do it no matter regardless of if you have yeah. a gas or EV, yeah, you yeah, do yeah, it, yeah. So, yeah anyways we're gonna circle back to <laughs> who we are uh, we haven't even done that but my name is chris and this is nolan yep we are uh we used to work together in finance. Um, he's still in finance. I am kind of in finance. <laughs> I, don't to, I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, I don't know but, if the startup world appreciates the world of finance. Yeah, he, yeah. he's in a, what we call capital F finance, <laughs> uh, like real finance. Uh, not, yeah, that's what Kyle was saying yesterday, right? Yeah. It's funny because it, 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 it is very true for whatever reason it is true. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I agree with it all, but I yeah, it, I think that's how people view it, for better or worse. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah the, what, are, what are we doing? Why are we doing this? Yeah, I, I think, I think, I think it's really just to try to get rid of some of the efficiencies that we see. Right. 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 In the in the market. Right. And I think from both of our day to day interactions um, with companies and with founders. Um, uh, you get a lot of questions and people wanting to uh, automate well I guess we haven't really touched on what exactly we're doing right right yeah, yeah. Um, I mean we're we're playing in this new area of not tech enabled services but what we're coining as AI enabled services so think about even a decade ago, all these new finance 
like the modern finance stack has evolved a lot from just QuickBooks, right? Mm -hmm. To now offering expense reporting, treasury management, cash management, banking, all of this stuff. I mean, all these hot new companies, right? Obviously Stripe, Ramp, Grex, Mercury, Arc. These are all like the new Silicon Valley types who are servicing Silicon Valley types and they do a pretty good job. I think their first attempt at advancing all of this um, was great. But now with the, you know, with AI propelling it even more, it feels like we can do 5X, even what was doable before. And I think that's where we're really trying to play in that new market. Uh, I think it's going to be a very, very fast growing market. Uh, Tech enabled services was one that grew very rampantly and continues to grow even today. So I can only imagine how much AI is gonna help that, so. Yeah, I think to summarize, it really is a good amount of people reached out and said, look guys, we don't want to deal with this. Right. Can someone help us? And we hear it day in, day out. Right. And we thought maybe there is actually a need in the market. Mm -hmm. Well, sir. Thank you, sir. And cheers uh, to waking up. Cheers to the new the office. Yeah, yeah, the new office. It's a Hope you guys like it. By the way, we uh, we paid a contract designer twenty five thousand dollars to help. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, this was a uh, what's the budget? Um, I want to say for everything. for all of all of this, maybe maybe a few hundred bucks. Yeah, like yeah. three yeah. four hundred. Three hundred four hundred bucks, yeah. including yeah, everything. Couch, everything. The, yeah. Like, well, I guess all this stuff is like an extra. Yeah. So those are those are just things that we we've had accumulated before. over the years, yeah. Um, and then this Van Gogh, uh, I got this at the auction. So, yeah, yeah. yeah what was it like? Thirty five million. Yeah, something like that. Something I mean, like that. The original yeah. Van Gogh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Incredible. Of wow. course, you don't count the pocket change. Right, know, right. Like, yeah, right. thirty five and a half. You know, yeah, who cares about that? Like that yeah. yeah. So this was twenty four ninety nine. A Ross T J Max or a Ross? Yeah. But you know, it is what it is. It's stronger today. The company. Mm. It's because it's more fun. Uh, yeah, so you're gonna get. That's why. Uh, yeah, that's what. It is. So that's why espresso. If it's really fine, then it tastes. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah, that's how the. Sure. Yeah, Coffee it, science. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, that's why you wanted a little more coarse. The um. Do you like it like this, or you think? I like it yesterday. It's better. Yeah, yeah. I, I like it a little lighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think yesterday's was better. Okay. I'll I'll take the thing. Yeah. Or the, we could do more water. It doesn't matter. Oh yeah. Um, and also, I visibly noticed that the water kind of, you know, dripped down a little bit slower. Mm. Because, you know. Yeah, it's probably spending more time. <laughs> the, um, so much time. That, what, do you, what do you think of the um, uh, second day in this office? I love it. I mean, yeah. I, you know, everyone started, we both worked, I would say, in pretty nice offices. <laughs> yeah. Um, but... It's different when it's your own. Oh, yeah, uh, like it really is. Yeah, it really is. It really is like everything they say about starting your own venture too. Yeah. Um, you know, everyone's worked for good, good yeah. companies, etc. Yeah. But when you work for your own, it's yeah. a different feeling. But you kind of <laughs> you appreciate the small things, and it, it is exciting to start fresh. So yeah, yeah I love it. I mean, it, I was trying to. I, just trying to figure out like what, what we did yesterday that's a little bit different that makes it feel a little bit more natural um mm -hmm. is it for us to talk to each other well, I, I think this is uh, yeah, yeah. I, I think yeah. it's we don't have to think about agenda just yeah talk. yeah yeah. Just talk. yeah um yeah it, it also probably doesn't feel as natural because we're working on our yeah. <laughs> like yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, speaking so i think we're we're both very much uh keen on following tim ferris and i forget which one was it the noah kagan one there was one that he was yeah. talking about how everybody should do just five podcasts just to learn more about yourself how you speak everybody has you know ticks and little yeah you know, like things that can definitely be fixed and i think what we immediately noticed or for myself is I, I tend to mumble as I talk more and more. So now it's more like, okay, I need to articulate my words a little bit better so the audience can hear. I think our audio 
could be captured by a microphone, which we're going to grab soon. But yeah, I'm very conscious of this now, yeah. which is making it feel a little more stiff. But I yeah. think as that improves over the span of doing, you know, 100 yeah. videos, it'll just come more naturally. But yeah. Right now, I'm like intentionally trying to <laughs> articulate, yeah, articulate like, a yeah, like every yeah. word, like okay, yeah. like I hope they can hear me and like yeah, hear yeah. each word I'm saying, so we don't have to, yeah, caption. It's different, but <laughs> it's like you sound like a robot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm trying to sound, I'm trying yeah, to find yeah, yeah, that yeah. balance, but the way I natu- I think I talk pretty fast, yeah, like, naturally, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I can. I think most people can understand. Yeah. You know, in the in the in the natural, you know, con- context as well. Mm-hmm. Um. But maybe when you put it into content, maybe it's a little bit more. Right. Honestly, I, 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 I don't think it's a big deal. Like, mm. um, I think as much as yeah, if we talk, we can't talk too fast. Right. Yeah. Right. But 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 as soon as as long as people can hear what we're saying, I think it's fine. Yeah. Um. Hopefully. Right. Um. But yeah. Yeah, I think Tim also it can get monotonous like yeah. listening to his style yeah, yeah, yeah. for over yeah i mean he is a very clear talker though i will yeah, i think he has he a is. good uh i'll put it this way he has a really good stage voice yeah like if you could put him on stage he could talk as if it's yeah. a podcast i yeah, think yeah, it'd be yeah. perfect uh, but i don't know i think everybody has their own yeah. voice and style so i wonder what yeah. he sound like in their first beginning you know first couple of podcasts that he did yeah I mean, just go uh, all the way back you can yeah, yeah, yeah. You, can, you can hear it is very yeah. different yeah. It, it is yeah when did you start following him i followed him wow in college so 10 almost 10 Jesus. years wow. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah almost his like full i think he's only been doing it for 10 15 or something he wrote the book early though the four four the hour four, that four, was a while yeah ago. four day yeah. work week yeah i yeah. read that so long ago i i honestly don't remember a lot of it i love it yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, a colleague of mine was like, oh, I just read Autonomous Habit recently, yeah. you know, whatever. And yeah. I was like, how do you feel? Feel good, right? And she's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I matter. did too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter how you feel, it's what I, you do. I was yeah. so excited, you know, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to do all this thing. My life is going to change. Everything's going to be great. Two weeks later. <laughs> uh, Alex Ramosi, <laughs> mental masturbation or reading whatever. <laughs> I think it's very true, though. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I did that for a couple of years. I, I blew through a bunch of those. Nonfiction. Books. Yeah. Yeah, productivity. And I, and I was like, yeah. oh, I'm, I'm so, like, fired up. Yeah. And it's like, what do you have to show for? Yeah, I mean, exactly. Exactly. I, I guess you exactly. could. I guess you could argue career mm-hmm. growth mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. somewhat. Yeah. But I didn't really apply every. You know, you know like, you read all these books about, yeah. like, oh, free yourself and financial freedom yeah. and uh, blah, blah, blah. But, but no I would say less than 1% of yeah. readers, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I noticed that works for myself, which I can't speak for everybody because people are built different, is that I cannot be focusing on more than, let's say, two to three goals at a, one t- at a time. Right. I, so so yeah. it's like, you know, for every given period of time, you know, people make new year resolutions. You know, people, you know, try to try to be like, okay, in the, in the upcoming, you know, whatever I'm going to do. So I, I, obviously I do that too, but I realize with time, um, I have to narrow it down. You know, I would, people will have so many things that they want to do, right? I want to mm-hmm. get, I want to get fitter. I want to, you know, do more, I don't know, like stretching. I want to right. read more. I want to, you know, uh, connect more with my friends. I want to, you know, progress in my career. I want to, you know, th- they have a list of things. Mm-hmm. But for me, at least, I think narrow it down to the first or s- you know the second or the third top priority choices and then just focusing on those right help you eliminate right just right. a lot of the mental just i guess yeah. hurdle right yeah. like, it's like there's only so much space you know that, that so much yeah. of your focus that you can focus on a certain amount of things mm-hmm. if you only focus on okay i'm just gonna focus on getting fit plus read more right you can probably do those two right but right. if you want to do getting fit read more and 10 other things, right? I don't yeah. think you can, you know, at I, least that's, I that's what works for me. I, I agree. Yeah. I think, I think that's off the momentum of reading yeah, such yeah. books and you're yeah. like, I'm going to do everything. Yeah. But the reality is like, you have to take it slow. Yeah. Um, I think there's something to be said about yeah. like goal setting properly mm-hmm. as mm-hmm. well. I think you have to pick the best 
two or three that yeah. will result in multiple. You know, like so, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you have ten goals in mind, you have to pick the three that will yeah. spell umbrella yeah. over a lot of those. Yeah, yeah. So, like, I think you know, fitness is one right where if your north star or you know yeah. your goal is to I don't know like bench. Yeah, I think if you got specific enough to say like I want to bench squat and deadlift. 1400 pounds as a pro, which is a crazy goal but if you do that like anything related to fitness is yeah. gonna fall yeah. in line. Yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, oh yeah. i want to hit yeah. my pro it's like, uh, that doesn't need to be a goal because yeah. if that's your goal you have to do that to yeah, get yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's kind of like picking the overarching goal that yeah, can just tackle everything below that yeah, column interesting, interesting. so for me it's always been like you know mental yeah. and physical yeah. and i guess like not spiritual but yeah. i guess like mental health i guess yeah, it's yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. separate for me yeah but or I, I guess the way to do it is mental, physical, and mm-hmm. then, like, growth. Or, yeah. like, like financial growth, I guess. Yeah, like, yeah. I, those are kind of my three buckets. Makes sense. Yeah. And for me, I mean, I think we want, I mean, putting it out there, I want to make a million, million revenue yeah. for our side hustle. Yeah in the next 12 months that's yeah. that's like my top goal yeah that's, that's yeah, the, yeah and then my second goal is like 100k subs yeah. across okay. all platforms okay. and i think we're like 12 percent of the way there's yeah, something like that I know, right I know. so like those are my two for i guess financial freedom and yeah. like if i if we focus on just those two alone yeah. all the other fluff like i, I think yeah. i think that makes sense and just right. give people like a little bit of context is, is right. i guess it's really hard to quantify you know our our, our oh, yeah. you know yeah. who, who we are career wise but I, let's just say combined in salary um you know in normal salary if we both get jobs or if we just right. you know in our normal whatever day-to-day jobs and whatever like that right. the salary annually um we'll get close right to that to that number uh yeah yeah for I mean, both of us combined but the idea of this is that you're doing a business and you're selling something of value and then you're getting people to be willingly pay you a certain amount of which I'm describing any business in the world but when right. you actually execute it you realize it's so hard mm-hmm. to get people to actually pull out their checkbook and be like okay right. here's a certain amount of dollars I'm yeah. gonna take your service right right and um, I think that's what makes it exciting and interesting um, yeah I agree uh, you know, it was, I think Warren Buffett was also the one that um, was hyper focused on making a million dollars. Oh, was he? Oh, yeah. I didn't even know. Was, okay. but, but of course, you know, like well, it was yeah. it was a million dollars sixty years ago. So you know, it right, worked. Right. It, it means more. Five, yeah, 10, yeah. But but he was hyper focused on making a million dollars when he first started to uh, right. run his own fund right. with like you know monies from family and some friends and you know like some mm-hmm. close friends. Um, moved to Omaha and then started doing right. his own thing and um, he made two million he yeah. hit it he eventually hit that goal I think yeah. at the age of 20 not 30 mm-hmm. not yet 30 um, but it's kind of uh, interesting to see that we were also kind of focusing on the same thing yeah I mean um, I, I think it's the right mentality like yeah. just because the reality is like you, you can focus on the small pieces but yeah. like you're saying it's just too much mental yeah. capacity it's like yeah. oh like i want to close two sponsor deals i yeah. want to close this and then yeah. i want this revenue stream it's like they just overarching number <laughs> hit hit the top number and fill it with everything but yeah. the only way to get to that number is by yeah. doing all that so yeah. day-to-day execution actually just fell into place um right i think i think it makes a lot of sense um yeah why are we doing content I love it. It's fun. Well, since when? <laughs> since when have we started doing content? We started content in August of twenty three. Yeah. yeah. So six six months. Yeah. Almost seven. We have been focusing a lot on you know I guess short yeah. form content. Mm-hmm. Um, just because it was easier to pick up. I guess. Yeah. Easier uh, to pick up. I think so. And, and you know, there's a lot of editing tools out there like CapCut and makes it easy for you to mm-hmm. you know export into a different platform. Um, and once you have one of those short form video, which is vertical, um. You can essentially post on all your social media channel, which is why we recommend our friends yeah. to be like, look, like if you have an idea, if you want to, because people always be saying, if you are probably thinking this, or some of your friends are probably thinking this. Oh, I want to start a channel for my dog. Right. Or I want to start a you know fitness channel. Right. Or I want to start a you know right. like Just document my life. Yeah, Blogging, document my life. Yeah, yeah. Do it. Yeah, it's not. Do it. Yeah, it's you not know, hard. <laughs> we we 
I would say that we made over a hundred and we were trying to, you know, we put our foot down and said, look, let's just make one video every single day. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we did that for, I would say five months. Yeah. Roughly. Yeah. Every single day. And then, um, we didn't have any more equipment than, uh, I don't know, $40 microphone plus our iPhone in our hands. Right. Or any, right. you know, like, you know, no uh, fancy. I mean, like, sure. Uh, little tripod from yeah. Amazon and yeah. wireless mic yeah. and that's it. That's yeah. it. That's uh, it. Yeah. And then all the softwares are free to use. Um, mm -hmm. some, of, some of that just you know, uh, name dropped earlier, but it's actually really easy to pick up. And I think it's mostly the mental hurdle of putting yourself out there. But right. once you get over that, you realize, Oh, they shit. Like mm -hmm. the world, you know, you can capture everything right? and then put it out there. And who cares if nobody watches it? You know exactly if no one watches it then it's the same thing as not put, you know yeah, so it's yeah, kind of exactly. yeah i think it's the hurdle of a lot of people mm -hmm. i hyper focus on like oh my god what if this goes viral yeah and then like but i i don't know what i'm doing yet yeah, yeah, like, yeah. well chances are no one is not gonna go viral yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. so you have to like practice and yeah. if it does go viral then yeah. that means like you're doing something right and yeah, you, exactly. you have a natural knack for it yeah and that's great then you should just but either way the Concluding it yeah. post. I, I was talking to my friend and, yeah. and he, he, was, he was like, oh man, I don't, I don't know about putting my face out there and whatever. Right, like, right. what if, what if, um, you know, uh, what if it go by? And he wants to do content, right? Oh, he, he wants, wants to. to yeah, right? he wants to do content. Mm, yeah. I don't know about, you know, but it's the only thing is I don't know about putting my face out there and whatever. Right, like, right. Okay, think about it this way, right? If it doesn't go viral, right? nobody's going to see your face anyways. Right. So why does it matter? Exactly. If it does go viral, isn't that what you want? You're right. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> so it is like confusing to me too. So and, yeah. Yeah, and then I think I think people who think that way. Yeah. Which we did too. Yeah, we did. To yeah. be fair. Yeah. Is almost like narcissistic, or because it's almost like you think that you're gonna go and you're like I using was, that as an excuse to I was, not post. I was, I was so narcissistic. Yeah. No, I, was, I, I was I was so hyper, you, you remember this, I was yeah. so hyper focused on everything that I say and right. then you put it out there and then you realize, okay, it got 10 views. Right. And, and then, then, I, then I'm depressed. I'm like, fuck, <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. That no one cares. It's no like, one cares. Yeah, yeah. And, even if you get, yeah. uh, you know, we've, we've both been, yeah. our faces on multi-million views, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. to yeah. more context, our yeah. channel has gotten Ten million plus at this point yeah total views right yeah. over time and the reality is i don't think anyone cares. like nobody cares because it's nobody such cares. a it's, it's short content first of all i guess yeah. long might be different yeah but short form content is a done in your next video nobody nobody cares yeah do, like do you remember <laughs> do you remember even three videos you watched yesterday night scrolling no, uh, I would venture no, no. Uh, like yeah. would you if you saw them on the street would you would you be like oh that was that no, no, no. no. no you chance. wouldn't remember the name. No chance. Yeah. You wouldn't remember the face. Exactly. There's just so much content out there right now, like across right. all these different channels, to like try to take away your attention. Mm -hmm. And because of that, like the chance of actually failing, right. how you define failing, but in terms right. of like putting your face out there and then flop and everybody's like, ha ha ha, the chance of that, so low. Oh yeah, it's, it's, almost it's basically zero. Yeah, no, it's basically zero. No, yeah. if you think one out of, the 50 views you get mm -hmm. one person is gonna shit on you is yeah. like maybe there's that one asshole yeah. but like <laughs> but welcome to the content you're yeah. gonna we've gotten countless yeah. whatever types of, but hey it's engagement it's, yeah i don't really mind it's, i think once you get over that mental hurdle um, right hopefully our speech helped a little bit but right. but once you get <laughs> over that mental yeah. hurdle you can just start doing um just start making documenting something and then mm -hmm try to edit it, um, and then just put it out there. I don't think there's any harm in that because right. what it takes is practice. With right. practice, you realize, okay, I need to improve yeah. a little bit. You know, maybe I need to adjust the subtitle. Maybe right. next one I can, uh, you know, improve my hook right. of the video. Right. Maybe next one I can put some music in it. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe next one I can do this and this and this. Um, chances are it wouldn't take only a few video for you know, you to blow up anyways. Right. So all the beginning, you know, videos will be the practice rounds that you will need. 
yeah. to practice for the ones that actually potentially go viral. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. I, I'm thinking about it this way right now. Yeah. I mean, this long form video, this is our first yeah. long form. Yeah. And this is, to me, practice, we're just gonna put it out there. And yeah. like, I don't really care how we look. Yeah. I mean, I care a little, but yeah. like, I'm kind of, I think we're both over that hump. We're over Yeah, that. we're just like, yeah. hey, like, put it out there. Yeah. It gets 100 views. Yeah. Eh. If it gets 100 million views, we'll be yeah. like, what the fuck? You yeah, know, exactly. but, but exactly. you know, I think we're both just exploring and I think yeah. we both understand like the first 20 videos yeah. even we're just yeah. figuring it out <laughs> I mean I, I don't know if I love this yet yeah. uh, this setup but I do not right now yeah. but 20 videos later who knows so. and sometimes the exponential growth really sometimes mm. surprises me I mean I, I remember it took us so long because we were growing organically um, right. from zero and building our audience from ground up um, and yeah. from audience number one to audience number, let's say 200. Oh. It took us <laughs> dozens of videos to get there. Right, right? It was over a month, days. easily yeah. over a month. Every yeah. single day we were kind of fixating, okay, okay, let's look at the retention curve of the video. <laughs> yeah. Let's you know, look at, are we doing this wrong? Are we doing that wrong? Can we fix oh, the subtitles? It, it must be the lighting, dude. Oh, <laughs> like, right, must, it, it must be the lighting. Oh, oh no, like we're, yeah. it's not enough clips. Oh, it's not exactly. enough cuts. Yeah, it's because the, the subtitles color is not why it's black. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, the font size is off, that's it's, why. That's it's because why. we posted at 2, 3 p.m. in the afternoon yeah, rather than like, 5. we missed the cutoff, yeah. uh, damn it. Like, yeah. like all these little things even if you go online and look up like how do I make a viral video then they, they will give you a list of things that they ask you to follow it's like okay post on these days okay do this okay do that none of it really matter at the end of the day <laughs> if you have really interesting content itself right and maybe a good hook to the video right I think those are the only thing that actually matters like your subtitle the music the uh, uh, what is it the, when you post in a day um, you know how long the video is uh, none of that really matters, uh, in my opinion, yeah, when you're just starting out, right? Right, right. Um, Definitely over time. I yeah. think we're both in the thought of early stages, quantity over quality. Yeah. Like, it doesn't, I don't yeah. care how smart or how good yeah. you are at design yeah. or content yeah. storytelling. Just, if you, whoever does 100 videos, yeah. their 100 and first video yeah. is going to shit on even the best mm -hmm. quality person's mm -hmm. 10th video. Yeah, yeah. We're not stop i hate everyone who does the outliers and the extremes of like oh but mr beast could like yeah. okay no shit mr beast, yeah <laughs> you're picking the one guy and like elon could do it too sure yeah. but we're talking about the average person yeah yeah if you think you can create a top quality piece of content yeah. on your first try i would bet 99.9 percent .9 yeah. you're probably wrong <laughs> yeah and if you yeah. do do that then you might congratulations be, you're yeah. one of a million yeah and, and then you should um, you should milk i mean like you yeah. should just do this yeah your you're career. emma chamberlain yeah. number two like yeah you, <laughs> yeah, you exactly. should pursue this as a full-time career and it will make you a lot of money absolutely um if you need accounting help uh. <laughs> <laughs> we can help you on the finance back end so any creators out there by the way we do bookkeeping and accounting um, so we can keep track of all your yeah. expenses yeah if you guys thinking about starting a business yeah. you know helping you to raise money and all that like all that material on the back end we deal with a lot of that as well yeah yeah i'll even go as far this will be like our easter egg of yeah. our video yeah if you made it this far and you yeah. happen to and you're either starting a company or you just need help with yeah. your business accounting yeah. etc send us a dm we'll, yeah we'll help yeah. this person yeah. one person for free yeah. If you really stick this far, yeah, I'm gonna be shocked. Yeah. You're 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 OG man. Like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. should we, hang we out. We'll remember. Yeah, <laughs> we'll remember. Whoever makes it this far in the video and DMs us, we'll we will remember you. Because I still uh, remember the like five to ten of our oh, first man. followers on Instagram. Man. Like I look at them and I still follow them. There will be like, people like consistently just like follow yeah, and then supporting, just supporting, like, and yeah. po like post comments on every single video. Yeah, more than Isn't that family, so cool? friends, That's like cool. Yeah, yeah. So those are people I remember. That's really sad, but it's true. Yeah, 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 more yeah. than more than family. Yeah, and friends. I think you'll yeah. realize that like those are like the true people. You're like, oh wow, like, yeah. they genuinely yeah. like our personality exactly. and us as yeah. who we are. So it's it's cool to see. Yeah. Um, it's a tough realization. We have no friends. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like it's 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 good to have some sort of you know supporter at the very beginning. That is, th those sort of comments is cliche, but once you see a really nice comment, oh my god, your video is so nice, whatever, blah blah, that would be the fuel mm -hmm. for you to make the next video because you're like, okay, some kind of validation. Yes, validation. Yep. Um, yep. But um, but I think I think once you do all the practice rounds. The number will start to come 
Um, of course, I'm not talking about, okay, I'm just going to film a video of the wall for 10 seconds. I'm going to do that for every single day. Chris, Nolan, why haven't the fuck I have? Of course, it's not going to, you're going to make a little bit of effort, right? Like document yeah. something and make some sort of improvement every single one and focus on that, mm -hmm. right? Narrow down the goal from, okay, I want to make a video, you know, that makes a million, you know, get a million views. Right. The sub goal for that, right? Every single day is like, okay, how can we, how can I change and make this video a little bit better than the one that I posted yesterday? Um, right. I think that's what will, would get you there. Yeah, um, I agree. Know, that's our tips for anybody who are thinking about doing content um, because we have made videos that, you know, get 5. What? 5.6 5. million, 6 million right? views, like yeah. 2. something million views. If we can do it, anybody can do it. Right. So, yeah. I agree. And the majority of our videos is less than, you know, it's in the 10K yeah, range, yeah, 10 to yeah. 20K. But yeah. even in the beginning, we were so happy. Our first couple of videos, 200 views, we were like, dude, yeah, we did it. Yeah, yeah, we did it. 200 yeah. views. Yeah, yeah so I know. it was really fun. And I then, know. Yeah, as you get over time, you kind of grow numb. Yeah. You know, we were talking about this the yeah. other day. If a video doesn't get past, yeah. um, say, what, a couple hundred K, um, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, oh, like, you know, yeah, it's cool. Okay, cool. <laughs> like, okay, yeah. Move on to the next yeah, one. Yeah, right. Yeah, and then yeah. I feel like most people yeah. in the beginning, though. Oh my god! If we had a hundred k views, we yeah. would have been like, "Holy crap!" I like know, we're I like, know, I know. like, we're content creators. Like, that's cool. But. If something gets like twenty, thirty k, like at this moment, it's like, okay. Yeah, you don't really. Bad you, at, yeah, yeah, you, you almost don't really think about it. Yeah, not from an ego. Yeah, thing, but just like oh, like yeah. you're used to seeing the numbers now, yeah. so it just becomes a number. All I'm saying is we started from zero, right? No right. experience. We don't yeah. do this for a living, and if we can get here, everybody can. So, yeah, um, I agree. If you want more tips, leave a comment in the comment section. We'll talk more about it in the future videos. Yeah. So, what's our? Um, yeah, I mean to kind of conclude. What's our goal for this channel right now? What are you thinking? Yeah. I'm thinking. Well, first of all, let's just make you know this video. In five days, we're gonna look back on it. And we're gonna think, okay, this video sucks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Maybe even tomorrow, we're gonna be like, oh man. That yeah, was... I was like, really, like Chris, you really need to talk better. Dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm... <laughs> but um, I think the goal is uh, to make a hundred video in this channel. Um, yeah. like we try to do it every single day. Um, yeah, I mean, of course, yeah, yeah. life happens. And, exactly. But um, yeah. but but because the goal right now for us is real. What we realize from our short form content is that. Um, production quality, um, edits, sound, quirkiness, like different features, different things, bells and whistles added to your video doesn't help. Well, they help to a certain extent. All of these things, they're ancillary to the content itself. Right. If you're authentic, if you're actually right. talking about interesting things, if you're showing people right. who you are, those tend to be the content that happen to do the best. Right, I, I agree. I mean, I think it's stuff you can't fake yeah. and it's stuff that like we're just unapologetically yeah. us right yeah. and i think that's 80 percent of content yeah. if you just be you and, yeah. and each like nolan has an incredible story by the way and at, like we're all very different yeah. but i think is how you share that story mm -hmm. but that's 80 percent of the content yeah and that last 20 percent is what he's talking about the bells and whistles like yeah. oh like the like we we think it does matter yeah. which is why we did this yeah. obviously but at the end of the day it's really like what have you accumulated over yeah. your life in terms yeah, yeah, of like yeah. experiences yeah. and whatever and yeah. how open are you to share yeah, that yeah. and just like yeah. yeah just be honest and you know i think we're just having a good time and we don't expect everybody to like us right some okay. people are gonna be out there it's like okay these guys sucks and whatever they look like yeah oh, what yeah. but 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 the reality is we don't also we don't need everybody to like us, you know? Like we Nor are, do we care. And don't, exactly. Yeah, I'll go like, like, yeah, I mean, I just yeah. don't care. Yeah, I mean, like the people yeah. who want to be like, okay, these guys seem cool, like they seem chill, then they're talking about things that I want to, you know, kind of listen to and follow along with. Every day we'll talk about some trending news. Of course, our background obviously come from world finance, technology, and et cetera. So that's what we'd be talking about, um, you know, business and maybe entertainment, maybe, um, you know, creator economy, like that sort of thing. Right. Um, but... The goal is to show ourselves, we take a page, page from our short form content journey and realize authenticity is key. Mm -hmm. Put it into long form content. Um, you realize our video is going to be pretty low production quality. <laughs> First of all, it's because none of us are professional editors and we mm -hmm. don't really want to spend time and energy and you know money to hire a professional editor to help us to edit the video and make it into 
another Mr. Beast video. I think there's enough of that on a chan on the YouTube platform. Mm -hmm. If you want to see a tank blow up, there are people <laughs> who are out there that can do better things <laughs> right. like that than us. But if you're interested in talking about, you know, learning about technology, learning about the things that we're interested in, mm -hmm. or kind of just want to, you know, maybe pause for a little bit and drink a cup of coffee in the morning like us, what we're doing now, and, um, you know, start the day, I think this is a good place, right, for that sort of audience. Right. Um, and um, the video would be some something like this. I think the core of it, right. Right? Oh, right. even though that this is the first video, right. and we'll obviously improve over the next 100 videos, but um, I think the goal is to make 100 of them and then stay very true to ourselves, and then right. just show ourselves in the most authentic format. Yeah, um, you know, to put it out there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think we're gonna talk about a lot of things, um, a lot of historical context, who we are, yeah. how we got here, um, what we're currently working on. We're yeah. gonna share little tidbits of yeah, our journey, starting our yeah. own uh, company and venture, and yeah, I mean, ultimately, tune in every day. Think about us as like. If you're working remote, especially, yeah. it's almost like we're gonna be the people you coffee yeah. chat or yeah. water cooler. Yeah, 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 water cooler talks with yeah. us. But yeah, just listen in. We're gonna try our best to highlight big news of the day. Yeah, yeah. You know, whatever is going on. I mean, sure, exciting story about the right. business also that we're trying to build on the side. Right, right. right. Like you know, we'll share everything. Like our first customer, hopefully. Well, so, uh, <laughs> uh, the website and how we're getting there and how what we're doing right. to make it work and. Maybe that inspires some people to also, you know, start their own side hustle as well. Yeah. Um, I think it's a trend right now. Like everybody who are working their nine to five or even nine to nine, right? Um, you <laughs> right. know, nine nine six, um, every day, and they want something a little bit different. They want something that they have more ownership of, and right. um, you know, that's who we are, and we have been thinking that over the past, I don't know, five six years. Right. And finally, right. this is you know, we got a little office, and we're thinking about okay, let's let's make this work, build it from the ground up. And um, you, by the way, we also have a you know sweater business that we started last year. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> that is a side yeah. thing that we're gonna right. tell you more about in the future. But um, the, the, I, think, I think that's what makes this whole thing very exciting mm -hmm. um, for people um, yeah. and for ourselves as well. Yeah, I think it's relatable. Um, you know, we're located in San Francisco, kind mm -hmm. of the hub of a lot of technology, especially yeah. right now, there's yeah. so much AI development here. But hopefully is relatable to a lot of you who mm -hmm. have been working now, you know, in the middle of your career, yeah. which we're at as yeah. ourselves. And yeah, there's a lot to think about yeah. as you enter your 30s, I think. Yeah. And is for us especially, just wanted to do yeah. our own. And yeah. I think a lot of you probably feel the same way, um, is my guess. Who wants to stay in the, yeah. you know, the corporate world? I mean, some people do, and you know, more power to you. Yeah. Uh, I think there is something to be said about working at a very big company. And yeah pushing very meaningful products out. I think that's There's great. very meaningful as well. Oh, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah We're not course. diminishing yeah, that, yeah, but yeah. If, uh, we're talking about the people who maybe feel like, like that they can do more. Right, but for themselves. For I themselves, think. exactly. Right. I think that's yeah. the important, I mean, some people are more comfortable and risk averse, yeah. et cetera, yeah. that's fine. I mean, that's e even you, I mean, listen in on our journey and see how we tackle problems and stuff and like maybe you'll get enticed but yeah. for us i think i think we just wanted to yeah. do our own you know like i want to grow my own yeah, <laughs> you know, like, yeah, like yeah. who wouldn't want it yeah. right it's the same thing as having kids or whatever exactly. you, you just want to grow your own yeah. in, in, in two months we're gonna have a video it's like fuck it's not working man. <laughs> yeah. like oh, God. so why we're we returning to our corporate <laughs> 50 videos in like, yeah don't believe it. all the Chris and Nolans of the world and telling you that yeah. you can't do sh yeah. Um, and but then, yeah. then we'll start selling a course and yeah. <laughs> how to how to get out of your nine to five. <laughs> make a course, sell to all of you and then and then after that, you make enough money. Nah. Be careful of the Van Gogh. Dude. Yeah, no, no, um, no, sorry. Yeah, no, that's yeah, no. that's five hundred K right there yeah, and no, just sorry. knocked off. Mm -hmm. Um anyways, I think that's probably Good to wrap. Good to I'm wrap. hoping it was recording this whole time. <laughs> like that's all I've been thinking about for the last twenty minutes. But yesterday we actually tried to make the first video, and then um, Chris got a call in the middle. Yeah. In the middle, and then they kind of just. That was a rip. I mean, yeah. Even though we've done yeah. one hundred eighty pieces of content, no, no. still don't know how to turn off. <laughs> still don't know to like all the steps of like putting my phone on do not disturb. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I messed up. But hey, we're we're here today. We're we did it. We're um, Yeah. Then.
this will mostly be a daily, almost daily thing. Yeah. I would say minimum. I mean, obviously, we'll, yeah. we have to take our vacations. We yeah, have yeah. wives who uh, will mm. not be very happy if we do this every single yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I would say at least five days a week mm -hmm. is going to be standard, yeah. um, but mostly every day. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just tune in every day and comment, follow. We're in San Francisco. If you're ever in the area and you just want to chat, DM us. Uh, we'll have all our links below. So, yeah. Yeah. Want to come over for coffee? Oh yeah, we're, we're having the entire setup. Yeah, yeah, we're happy to make you a cup of coffee. And yeah, I, I'd I'd love to do interviews or chats. I think there's, yeah. I actually thought about this. I think yeah. there'd be a lot of younger folks yeah. who just want even yeah. just like mentorship advice. Yeah. But like, if you're in your yeah. young twenties, just graduated. Yeah, uh, or if you're thinking about you know yeah. still in college or thinking about you know doing anything finance, in finance, yeah. investment banking, consulting, or want to get into yeah, a startup start or whatever. Finance, yeah, like when we've been through that path. All right. Oh yeah, and yeah. Um, we're not targets, by the way, too. So we didn't yeah. have the <laughs> we didn't have the you know the bank show up to our camp. But yeah, happy to chat with anybody. Yeah, just let us know. Yeah, we're we're open. We'll invite you over, have some coffee, and yeah. then maybe we can get you on a video. I know, I know, we have fun. Cool. All right. All right.